So everyone, um, we thought it'd be nice to have a quick chat about being a caregiver with two of our lovely caregivers. So I was wondering if you would like to introduce yourselves. Um, Zoe, do you want to go first? Yeah, hi, I'm Zoe. I have been with Home and Shed for just over a year now. And Richard? I'm Richard. I've been a caregiver with Home Instead for a year. I did my training uh, in January last year. Perfect. And I'm Lola and this is Claire. Hello, Hello Claire. <laughs> Hello, Lola. <laughs> so to break you both in gently, we've got some um, fun questions for you. Uh, what is your favourite meal? Fish and chips for me, please. Fish and chips. Good choice. <laughs> I, I quite I quite like fish and chips as well, Richard, to be honest. I can't drive down to Perrinforth and have fish and chips on the beach. Ooh, it's like yeah. my favourite go-to meal. So, yeah. yeah, I'd say fish and chips as well, Richard. That's a good choice. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's often more about who you're with and where it is as well than, than just the food, isn't it? So oh, yeah. yeah. And that fish brings and us on to our next question, Richard, oh. because... If you could meet any living person for dinner, who would you pick and why? <laughs> oh, crikey. Mm. <laughs> I thought that. A living person and why? Uh, I'm trying to think. I've, I've ruled out two answers which are wrong, which I shouldn't say in this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh, good heavens. Um, can you ask Zoe? And I'll, I'll, I'll have thought by the time Zoe answers that. Yeah, I'd probably quite like to meet the Queen, actually. Would you? I think, yeah, I think she's amazing. I think what <laughs> she stands for and her values, and I just think the age that she is, and she just, she's just, a, she's amazing. Her principles and just, you know, I just, I just would like to have a cup of tea with the Queen and just talk to her. And I think she's some of the things that she's, she's done in her life is pretty inspiring, and she keeps yeah. going and. You know, her family's not, there's issues there in her family, but she still comes out and fighting. And yeah, I say <laughs> Queen, definitely. Yeah, the Queen. <laughs> Good choice. Yeah, I, I was thinking that. I, I, My first wrong answers were about leaders <laughs> who I'd like to meet and say, what the bloody hell are you doing? <laughs> but I, I th I, going on that leadership thing, I think Michelle Obama would be a great person to meet. Yeah. yeah. I find her quite inspiring yeah. for a range of reasons. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, if you're feeling a bit stressed, what would you do? What's your, what's your go-to activity? I'm just like lock myself in the bedroom, don't speak to anybody. But you know, what what would you do? Um, I quite like going for a walk or a run. If I'm if I'm if I'm on my running, I'll run. If I can go for a walk, then I'll walk the dog just over the moors or to the beach. I just love the beach. If I can get to the, we're not, obviously we can't at the moment, but I love Perry and Porth, Cran Top, just getting out. It's the air, fresh air, it just makes me feel so much better. Just that, or oh, the more, it's just open space. I think yeah. it's that open space and just breathing fresh air and natural environment. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. yeah. I'm quite Devon now. I never used to live here. So I've come from a city to, to Devon. So I feel like I'm more country <laughs> now. <laughs> Richard? Um, I, I, I've, I've had quite a few sort of mental health issues in the past which I'm feeling much better about um, but, but my go-to plan is always to try and see my children uh, they're living at home so it's not too difficult <laughs> if, if they're not there being outside helps or, or just mm. speaking to a trusted friend as well on the phone yeah. or, or being able to go and see them is good yeah. um, that's to fight that response that you mentioned Claire of getting in a room and uh, probably drinking or, or, or being upset and mulling on what it is to almost break that cycle is, is a key thing that I felt found is good for my well-being. Yeah, mm -hmm. quite agree. So um, now moving on to the caregiver questions, I was wondering if you could both briefly talk us through a regular day of caregiving. So Zoe, do you want to go first? Yeah, a regular day. Yeah, so obviously just depending on what client I get to. Yeah. So always make sure at the moment it's full PPE, hand wash, things like that. And then just come and always say good morning and introduce myself. Um, Hi, it's me and uh, what should we do today? And we always have um, a list of um, activities on ACP, um, and which is tailor-made to the client. So it yeah. could be anything from just um, 
supporting making a bit of lunch having a cup of tea having a chat or could be just some light household duties maybe just wash up a couple of things so each day is very different depending on what client we have um so um most of the time it is just more companionship for, for my clients they just love a good old now and if if the if the weather's nice and we always try and get out and have a little drive and have a little walk so that's yeah. my you know and take medication on some of my clients some people might just need a little bit of personal um you know just helping put on a pair of jammy bottoms or just yeah. a t-shirt so most of them for me are quite independent it's just assisting wherever i need to so there's no day the same to mm. be honest it's all it's all different for me yeah. which i love I think that is a good point. It is always so different because you're it's a people person kind of job. Yeah. So yeah. people are always different and you've got different schedules. Yeah. Um, and it's all tailor made. That's what I like about it that it's not the whole nine to five by bore bore, you know, every client I'd meet someone then they tell me a little bit more about their lives. Yes, yeah. I had a lovely chat with a lady. I didn't know oh I wonder why that and then she told me I was like oh I understand now I get why mm. you know certain things so when you're building that trust and relationship up you learn more which mm. makes me a better carer and a better person because I'm learning from them yeah so, that's yeah. really nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah good. yeah can you still see me because I've lost visual but as long as you can see yeah, we, yeah we can still, still see, see you. Right, yeah. I'll crack up. yeah it's definitely about the variety for me um uh, and it is about the people. So the, the first thing is once you've done all the, the health checks and cleaned and, and, and whatever you need to wear, it's it's giving that person time to properly ask the question, how are you? Um, and as you get to know the clients, the thing I love is you actually get the truth quite quickly. Mm. And dealing with the truth is often really hard, but it makes you feel very, oh, close, wanted, needed. Um, important in that person's life for the time that you're with so that's the bit i like and and just finding that individual perspective for the person that you're you're talking with um and the great thing about home instead is that it, it the job gives you that time to do it so i like mm -hmm. saying to the client or the person you're in charge what should we do um i'm, I'm making it a uh, almost like i'm a personal butler or valet for them for that day <laughs> which, that, so, because generally I work with 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 men. Um, some men find that quite difficult, but actually mm. once you've got through that barrier, it's a wonderful relationship. Mm. I uh, I've described it to some of the family members who will say, "What do you get up to?" I said, it, "We're like a couple of schoolboys. <laughs> 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 we do all the things that our app tells us to do, and and all the health care and and anything else. But then we then we giggle, and then we yeah. we, we sing or uh, all sorts. There have been lots of lovely." events during the last year that have just sent me home singing to myself because it's been so rewarding and lovely yeah oh that's lovely what would you say is your favorite part of being a caregiver I can get my um i think for me it's people often say thank you which is really good and and it, it's important to say remember yourself to say thank you but it's actually when people show that they're grateful and thankful without often saying it yeah but it's it's just knowing that you've done something from the look on their face or their mm. comfort or a difficult job which we've got out the way yeah i mean for, for me i found that it's that first moment when you have an inside joke with your client that yeah. really yeah. that made me smile um and that makes it kind of worth it yeah what, what what a buzz rambling because I thought we were on, but <laughs> I was just... no, <laughs> she weren't rambling. <laughs> I was just saying it's just having a giggle, having a laugh, and just sort of sharing that moment of when you can sort of sense what the other person's going to say, yeah. um, and and just you can just see the glint in their eye, and you just you just yeah, just having a giggle really, just hearing laughter. Yeah. nothing what best than hearing kids laugh or anyone laugh it's just a lovely lovely sound so yeah laugh yeah yeah <laughs> definitely um what would you say is um a moment where you found the job challenging or a certain situation do you have uh, anything that comes to mind yes um 
uh, it goes back to one of the things I said earlier, I think, of, of helping people with a job that's very difficult or something that we wouldn't like to do normally. But part of my job is to be involved with end of life plan care for people mm -hmm. who would would have said if they were here that they chose to be at home to be able to die, which is absolutely what they wanted. So being part of that team was a, a privilege. Uh, and even though everybody knew there was an end point when when um, the gentleman would die, that was that was difficult. But I think that's the nature of care, isn't it? You you can't sign up for the giggles and the and the, and the, the squeaks of about when someone farts, like we were discussing earlier on, <laughs> without without also having the the sometimes inevitable part of of looking yeah. after elderly people. Yeah. Um, I certainly find with the gentleman that I looked after in, in that end of life plan that I, I learned a great deal from him, which, which was lovely. Um, so it, it's 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 wrapping up the sometimes hugely upsetting moments. Yeah. Professionally, still allowing yourself to get upset, but also knowing that you were there because you were doing a job that needed doing and being proud of how you did that. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah. And often family and, and the clients themselves make sure they, they tell you how grateful they are and that's a yeah that is a privilege mm. he's just smashed it with that answer any how can i think of anything better than that that was just like you could say you could say the parts are a bit smelly <laughs> <Yeah. sometimes. laughs> oh, I, I, sometimes when i just sometimes maybe i've gone into seeing some somebody new and i'm sort of not too sure you know mm. oh uh, have I done this right? Have I done that right? But to be honest, I know that I can just text the team, which is amazing that we're in these WhatsApp groups. So if I think, oh, have I done that right? I can get reassurance within 10 minutes because someone in the teams in the teams are really good at getting back to you. So yeah. I can get reassurance if I think, oh, or I'll just ring the office, to be honest. If I think, oh, maybe I've not done that. And someone will reassure me. And normally it's just me overthinking. <laughs> and I think I'm, but actually it's just... Um, yeah, so not many challenging moments at the moment, but know that if I do feel a bit, oh, I can contact someone and someone can help me. So that's yeah. great to have home instead there if we need them, you know, any time. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, yeah. So um, why did you both think that you'd become caregivers? You go first, so. Okay, oh, I, <laughs> I'll give you some more thinking time. Yeah. Um, okay, so why for me is I love people. I, I just have a big heart for people and um, I've got time on my hands when my children are at school. Well, they should be at school and I'm, BA, I'm pretty flexible in the daytime and I love, I just love people, all sorts of people. I've done lots of voluntary stuff in the past. You know, I've had foster children, so I've just got a heart for people. So I feel like this is right up my street and I love doing what I do. I don't want but I love it. So yeah. yeah, it's perfect for me. Richard? Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm peopley. I've always worked with people. Um, yeah. And I think I turned to senior care as a, as a result of sadly my dad dying three years ago. Um, I was involved in a little bit of his care towards at, at the end of his life. Um, uh, and I, yeah, I thought that the people who were coming in were, were, were lovely, helped a great deal, got through all the the barriers of, um, I don't know, uncomfortableness that often you have with strangers. They yeah. cut right through to most important bits and spoke spoke the truth and spoke honestly, uh, and that helped my dad. Um, and uh, uh, having worked with, with people all of my career, I thought, oh, yeah, I, I quite fancy that. And for me, the work is attractive because I can schedule it around the other things that I want to do. So mm. being of an age where I'm semi-retired, I can uh, say, this is the amount of the amount of time I can do for caregiving, and then that fits in nicely with all the other things that I would have been able to do if there hadn't been a virus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, tell me about yeah. it, Richard. Yeah. 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 Um, so, for our final question, we wanted to ask a bit about what Richard you just touched on why, why apply to home instead, but also what would you say to someone to encourage them to apply because it, it can be quite daunting going into this job, I think people are nervous about what it's going to be like there's often a lot of misconceptions about um the hours and stuff like that so what would you say to encourage people um talk to a caregiver talk to people doing it so that you know and i and, and i've been able to do that for home instead 
the most common questions I've had from several people who I've just chatted away with are people are worried initially about intimate personal care, who, who looks after who and how, and I've explained that generally the rules are where female carers look after females and males, and yeah. male carers look after males generally in intimate care. And, and describing what intimate care is and how we're trained in, in all those bits which initially feel uncomfortable but actually are part of the job and an important thing to do because that's what the client needs. Um, the other misconception is like like you said Lola around hours people think that you're, you're doing one hour here going to another person and being stretched and not being able to fit time in that is definitely not my experience with home instead maybe because I haven't been working full-time every day but mm. normally I have one client a day uh, and I have time to get to that person, do a job, talk to the person every time I'm there, make sure personally they know that they're looked after and cared for and loved and, and go home feeling good. So yeah, I think the key bits there are, are for people to ask, but the two common things, time and intimate care, yeah. it's all right. That's a really good point, yeah. Um, Zoe, do you have anything to, to say about that? Yeah, no, I I just sort of feel that it is it is it, it's not what you think it is. It's more. It depends what sort of thing. If you're from the start saying, you know, I'm not a hundred percent with with personal, you know, real personal care, but actually, I don't mind doing this or this or this. You're matched. The thing mm. with to do, they match you with your sort of personality and who the care who the client would get on with. So, uh, not nine times out of ten you get someone that you're very similar to so it might be actually zoe's not feeling 100 percent confident doing full personal care but she's actually really good at doing this and this so the beauty of it that you are matched with someone similar and if you're not matched then it's okay we'll just we'll find you somebody else you know you're not yeah. letting the team down it's just a mismatch sometimes that can happen but nine times out of ten everyone's matched and so that's good. And you have an hour. You're not rushed. You're never rushed with home instead. And you've got 15 minutes for me. If, you know, if I've got a few back to backs, 15 minutes to get to your next client. Um, I can just do tabby and surrounding areas. So it's very flexible. Home instead are very flexible for yeah. what you can do. And if you can't do it, you just say, no, I can't do that. I'm really sorry. There's no black markers against your name. It's just, that's fine. Don't worry. Or, you know, it's a very tight, lovely place to work and who to work for because I think everybody on the team are, 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 are coming from the same angle it's about the client and making sure we're really happy make sure that we do a good job then if we're happy then we're going to be amazing carers and the clients yeah. get the best care so as a package it's definitely worth trying it and, and if you love people and just doing making a cup of tea for someone having you know you know the it's great if, if that's the sort of thing you like if you're not very caring then I wouldn't bother replying the other thing I thought of Zoe is that if you are new to a client then you always go with someone else who knows yeah. that person so they yeah. team you up for the first and inducted yeah them. definitely yeah, yeah you, you get yeah. inducted yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what you to speaking to both of you this morning has been absolutely amazing. It just it just sort of like reaffirms in your own mind why we come to work each day. Oh. And it and you know, just makes our job so much nicer to know that you know that we're here for you, you're here for us, um, and we've just been a really great team for all our clients. Yeah. And and it never nice ever one. feels like it never ever feels like I don't know, like um, management are higher than this. Oh, every, there's none of that. Yeah. Everyone is exactly the same. And I think, yeah. like Lynn, with and how Lynn set this up with, and like Sandy's amazing, like Heather's amazing. If you need Dawn's amazing. If you need something, you guys are great. We've loaded with Better the people. Sam. Better yeah. mention Sam, otherwise he won't be happy. Sam, oh my goodness me, Sam! Oh, <laughs> I know we better mention everybody. <laughs> oh. No, yeah. lovely. It's been really great speaking with you both. Yeah. Um, and thank you for joining us and have a fabulous day. Yeah, and have a both. good day. Lots Rest of love, everyone. Bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.